Hi, so today we are going to learn about geometrical progression. So this is the very first video of geometrical progression. So I have already noted down the definition for you. Definition says quantities are said to be in geometrical progression when they increase or decrease by a constant factor. So what does it mean? Suppose if I write few numbers or a pattern like 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and so on. What is this? Yes, 2 plus 2 is 4 but 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is actually 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 16 is 32. Or you can write it 2 multiplied by 2 gives you 4. 4 multiplied by 2 gives you 8. 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32 and 32 multiplied by 2 gives you 64. So here every nth term Tn is actually 2 times its previous term. Right? And if we talk about the second term T2, this is actually first term which is T1 multiplied by 2. Right? And T3 is actually T2 multiplied by 2. And from this equation, I can write this T2 in terms of T1. So this can be written as if I replace this T2 by T1 multiplied by 2, this can be written as T1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 or T1 multiplied by square of 2. And what about T4? T4 is actually T3 multiplied by 2. And what we have found T3 as? We have found it as equal to T1 multiplied by 2 squared. So this can be written as T1 multiplied by 2 squared. This is T3 and then this multiplied by 2. Right? So T4 can be written as T1 multiplied by 2 to the power 3. And can you tell me how the T5 will be written? T5 will be written as, if you follow this pattern, that will be T4 multiplied by 2 and it can be written as T1 multiplied by 2 cube multiplied by 2 and this will be equal to T1 multiplied by 2 to the power 4. Right? 2 cube multiplied by 2 will give you 2 to the power 4. Isn't it? Yes. So what can we say about this pattern? If we assume T1 as A and this 2, which is actually a common factor, if we call it R, then this pattern can be written as A, A multiplied by R, A multiplied by R squared, A multiplied by R cube, and so on. Isn't it? If in place of T1, I write A, and in place of 2, 2 which is a common factor. See here, T2 is T1 multiplied by 2. T3 is T2 multiplied by 2. Right? And T4 is T3 multiplied by 2. So every time the term is getting doubled, or the term is actually its previous term multiplied by 2. And this 2 is actually the common factor. Right? Which here we are representing as R. This is the common factor and this is the first term. Then this becomes the generalized form of the pattern. Right? And any pattern or any series in this format is called geometrical progression. Right? And what can you say about the nth term or the last term? See here. If we are finding the third term, it is equal to T1 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 in this particular case, right? And if we are 
talking about the fourth term, it is actually a to the t1 and 2 to the power 3. Isn't it? So the last term, if we call it as tn or the nth term, it will be a multiplied by r to the power n minus 1. Right? So what can we say? Let's erase all this and write our things properly. If we have any pattern where the first term is a and second term is the first term multiplied by r and the third term is a r squared and fourth term is a r cube and this continues, then this a is called the first term. And this R is called the common factor. And last term or the eighth term can be written as, as L or the Tn, which is the nth term. It will be equal to A multiplied by R to the power N minus 1. See here, first term doesn't have any R. In second term, we have R. 1 r only and in third term we have r to the power 2 and in fourth term we have r to the power 3. So in x term we will have r to the power n minus 1, right? So this is how to identify geometrical progression and how to find the last term or the nth term of the progression.